joy. I think technically, visually, it works. It works beautifully. I mean, I use the word beautiful because it's a beautiful film. It takes risk after risk after risk, and all those risks pay off. You know, I have nothing bad to say about this one. Neither do I. But I'm just going to throw this at you because we've had um, lots of uh, communication, okay. and a, a couple of people are quite happy. It uh, the press tonight. That is quite visually gorgeous, excellently directed and performed, but takes too long in getting started and ends anticlimactically. Would you like to just reply? People are hard to please, aren't they? I mean, I think it's so visually stunning, and I think it's such a technical achievement. But I think the real magic here is that you forget about the technical wizardry very quickly, and you know, very quickly you're just lost in the story. Maybe it's just me, but I think, you know, this is a film which makes you feel like a kid again, and it's hugely, hugely original. I mean, it's a real one-off. But also, I think there's something deeply traditional and old-fashioned about it. This is really an old adventure, you know, there's something timeless about it. Imagine with Robinson Crusoe. I think people are being ah, mean-spirited, and at this time of year... What do you think about the story? Because often when you watch a movie film, when you know that something's coming up, at you just because it might as well, quick, get an acorn, throw it at their head. Um, you say that like it's a bad thing. Yeah, no, but that doesn't happen here. You, you are totally immersed. I think the 3D is an intrinsic part of why this is so And I don't think the 3D is obviously had a very rocky, to be polite about it, kind of last couple of years in, in Hollywood. I don't think Life of Pi would be quite the film it is without the 3D. I think it's very easy to be cynical about this. It's so open hearted. I'm just not sure why you would do that. You can pick it apart. And you could say that now and again, the sunsets is a little bit too pink and a bit too picture perfect. And you know, the odd line of dialogue sounds like something from a 70s 